my name's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. So Nano, we survived, right? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments uh, how it went for you and if you won or not. I made a video at the beginning of November talking about my goals for November and my hopes for NaNoWriMo. And now I'm gonna wrap that up and we're gonna talk about the goals that I achieved and the one I kind of didn't. So my first NaNoWriMo goal was that I wanted to finish my copy edits. They were due on the 16th. This is for The Glass Witch, my book coming out with Scholastic next year. And I did complete those. I didn't really have a choice because I am <laughs> contractually obligated. But I finished those on the 9th. I sent them back. And now I am awaiting my first round of past pages which is wild um past pages are when the publisher sends you your book back like formatted like a book like how it will look when it's printed out which is gonna be just like surreal to see um but that should be coming at the end of this month and then i have until i think the first week of january to look over those make sure everything looks good write my dedication and my acknowledgments and then send it off and then my NaNoWriMo goal or my other writing goal for november was that i wanted to finish the first act in the second draft of Tobe, my second book in my contract with Scholastic. And I can proudly say I did it. Now it did take until 11.30 last night, the last day of NaNoWriMo, to finish it, but I did it. Tobe, oh beautiful Tobe, she's such a hot mess right now, it's fine. The second draft is honestly reading like a second draft of an outline, it's fine. It really is. I'm gonna make it better. I know it's potential and I know she'll be a great book, but she's just <laughs> needing a lot more work and a lot more TLC than some of my other projects in the past. My third goal was that I wanted to be working every day, that was like a good health day for me, uh, by 11 a.m. And I did that ish. <laughs> the point of this goal was that I wanted to make sure I had enough hours in the day to complete all of my YouTube and writing stuff before dinner time um, because I wanted to take time after dinner just for like reading and chilling and like playing The Sims or Animal Crossing or whatever, um, hanging out with my family. That was the point of this goal um, and I accomplished the point of this goal but did I actually like every single good day be like on my computer typing by 11. No, sometimes it was 12, sometimes it was one. I feel like I just miscalculated uh, or I did not word my goal correctly because some days I did wanna work after dinner. And in fact, the past like three nights, I've had like two hour writing sessions immediately after dinner and they've been wonderful. I've been so productive. Um, this is another reason why I don't have a writing routine because I just kind of do what my body wants me to do and when it works, it works. This goal was weird. I almost kind of feel like the goal was nullified, but I don't know. It's fine. Whatever. Oh, and the reading goals. Womp, womp, womp. I did end up reading six books and I really enjoyed a lot of the books I read. Um, some of them were my favorites of the year that I will be like, I'll be talking about my favorite books of the last half of the year. I made a video for my favorite books of the first half of the year. I'll link that down below. Uh, so if you want to watch that, <laughs> you can. I don't really have a number that I'm supposed to read per month. It's more like hitting specific targets that are connected to my yearly goals. For example, uh, my goal was to get all of the books that I added to my Goodreads TBR in 2018 either read or taken off the shelf. And I did not read the two that are left that I was supposed to do. I am in the middle of reading one. In fact, they're right here. <laughs> I have my ebook, which is uh, for Ink in the Blood, which I'm very much so enjoying right now. It's like a YA dark fantasy, very fun. And then the one under it is a library book. And that is um, The House with Chicken Legs, which is like a fun Baba Yaga's granddaughter, I think, uh, inspired Russian folklore middle grade. <laughs> so those are happening. I'm gonna move them to December, but I did fail reading them in November. I was also supposed to read two books off of my physical TBR and I only got around to one. I only have three left. Like, I'm gonna do this, I think. Two are nonfiction. I don't even know if you guys are interested in this, but magical herb books. I'm really into herbalism, so herbalism book. And then Literary Witches, which is a celebration of magical, magical women writers. Those are my two nonfictions. The thing is, when I physically read nonfictions, it takes me so long. So I really should get started on those super soon. And then I have a middle grade, Warren the 13th and the All Seeing Eye. It's this really cute middle grade that has some like really awesome 
uh, illustrations throughout, which I think is so fun. I would like to have a middle grade written in a similar style one day. It's about a little boy who is the lone bellhop in an uh, ancient family hotel. Something about hitting treasure, scary stuff in the boiler room, full of puzzles, secret codes, outrageous inventions, and hundreds of intricate illustrations. So it just sounds like really a lot of fun. Those are being moved to December since I failed at reading those as well. But I achieved some of the reading goals. I was supposed to read two new releases. I did that. I read The River Has Teeth, which was a YA fantasy new release. And I read The Death of Jane Lawrence, which was an adult horror new release. I've also been doing Books and Lala's Buzzwordathon where you have like one prompt for the month and uh, you just need to read a book that fits that prompt. And I read a adult thriller mystery called Local Woman Missing because the prompt was lost. I didn't have any books on my TBR, TBR with the word lost so I just used missing. And I also wanted to reread something in the month of November and I reread, I'm not gonna pull it down. I, call, I talk about it in like every video but I reread The House on the Cerulean Sea because it was just, it's so comforting. It's just like a warm hug and I'm really glad I reread it. <laughs> my next goal, uh, my next two goals actually were just like lifestyle goals. I wanted to start being active again and I did this, but not as much as I would like. Unfortunately, I had like a lot of migraines this month. Um, yeah, it kind of sucked. We've been dealing with some mold issues in the apartment. Uh, we had our vents like professionally cleaned to get some of the mold out and we got some air purifiers. But while I was waiting on the air purifiers to get here and like waiting for the mold people to get here, it was like, it was pretty rough. So <laughs> we weren't running our AC or our heat, which was rough. Um, until it got really cold and we did have to turn it on and then it was just like miserable for a couple weeks. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. Um, I was still able to take the dogs on W-A-L-Ks. I was very happy that he got to start going on W-A-L-Ks again. But I didn't do as many of my home workouts as I would have liked. That's not something that I'm scared that I'm not gonna achieve. It just, it's something I'm very excited for. I actually like really enjoy um, being able to move my body. I think it's a blessing every day that I'm able to do it. <laughs> So uh, it's it's not something that I'm scared that I'm not going to achieve. It just like I physically was not able to do it. So um, yeah, hopefully in December uh, I'll have a better month and I can move a lot more. And then my last goal was that I just wanted to get Chauncey into puppy school and I did. He's doing very well. I think he's the top of his class. I've been putting little snippets of his puppy classes into some of my vlogs that I d did in the past couple weeks. So if you're interested in seeing some cute puppy action, um, you can go check out those vlogs. I thought we could also talk about some of the things that I want to accomplish before the end of the year or just like December goals in general. Now I do want these to be more lax because I just, I really wanna enjoy the rest of the year. I spoke a little bit before about how I'm feeling a bit overworked. I wouldn't say burnt out. I don't feel like it's that bad, but I just feel like a good month where I don't have like really stringent goals and I can just kind of relax sounds really really nice a nice way to end the year to wind down and uh, yeah so all of these goals kind of reflect that my main goal is i just want to do stress-free writing in the month of december and if that means i only write one chapter in the month of december <laughs> that's january's problem <laughs> also my problem but we'll deal with that later i want to try to publish at least three videos in the month of december this counts as one so hey hey um i really want to do more i think i have like six videos planned but um if i don't get to them that's okay it's honestly fine it's not the end of the world and um, i can push them to january but some of the videos i have planned um i've been working on my vlog where i write like a scorpio i do this I, I think I'm starting it a series. I don't know. I did a Sagittarius one too, where I do an experiment called like, I tried writing like a Scorpio or I writing like a Sagittarius, something like that. Um, the Sagittarius one was super fun. I'll link it down below if you're interested. I think that video is gonna turn out a lot more fun than the Scorpio one, because in that video, I like actually went on vacation. Sagittarius like to travel, so I like traveled for that video, which was like really, really cool. But I'm having fun with the Scorpio one too. And actually, I'm finding that writing like a Scorpio Scorpio is helping me achieve my goals very well. <laughs> I'd like to do a video where I talk about the 2022 book releases that I'm excited for. I also want to talk about my favorite books of the year. A 2022 goals video, my projection for next year, like what I want to do, what I want to accomplish. It's going to be a wild year next year. It's it's my my debut year. I have a I have a book coming out. <laughs> Me! <laughs> I have a book coming out. And then I want to do a 2021 wrap up, just kind of like a look back at this year, see all that I've accomplished, all that I've learned, um, and you know, just kind of 
reflect. Do you guys want to see Chauncey? I feel like it's been a while. He's massive now. Look at this big boy. Look at that long boy. And then the last thing I want to accomplish before the end of the year is I want to try to uh, finish some of the reading goals that I set for myself. So I'm going to have to read those two books off my Goodreads TBR that I did not complete and the physical DBR book that I needed to read. It's all going to roll over to December. So that's already three books, but it's fine. We also have the buzzword readathon uh, word, which is like a book with a title that has a day, a week or a season in it. I am planning to read the book. I think it's called That Weekend. It's a YA thriller. Um, I've got it on hold of the library. So that's what I plan to read for that. I still need to read four new releases uh, to hit my ultimate yearly goal of reading 20, 21 new releases. So uh, for those, I am trying to think of the top of my head. Oh wait, no, I can get on my phone and tell you guys. I know one is gonna be Small Favors. That's what I'm reading right now by Erin A. Craig. It's like a YA dark fantasy. I'm really, really enjoying it. Oh, I'm reading Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. That's an adult fantasy. And uh, Alice Feeney's Rock, Paper, Scissors, which is an adult thriller mystery. I also have The Loan for The Summer Suns by Lee Mandelow. And I still need to reread one book. Um, I have pulled out the first book in the series of Unfortunate Events series um, A Bad Beginning just because I really like the humor in that story and I kind of have the same situation going on with Tobe where I have a very voicey narrator telling a story so I just kind of want to refresh on how Lemony Snicket did it and that would be easy because I think that first book is like 150 pages and then just reading those three books off my physical TBR so this is a lot of books <laughs> But I'm hoping with me slowing down with videos and writing that I'll be able to focus more on reading, which is exactly how I want to spend Christmas. And my last goal, just enjoy the holiday season. It's Sag season. It's my time of year. It's my birthday. And this is going to be Chauncey's first Christmas. I'm so excited. I bought him so much ridiculous <laughs> clothes and toys. Like, oh my gosh, it's embarrassing. I'm really excited for Christmas this year because it's like, the first year you know you're like your girl's thought of books so your girl's got a little bit of money to spend on people so that's very exciting as someone who's been unemployed for a quite a long while anyways you guys make sure you let me know down in the comments how your NaNoWriMo went or just in general how your November went let me know a goal that you want to achieve by the end of the year if you've got one if not and you're chilling let me know that too because I'm gonna be right there with you thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye